Hello and welcome back to the Common Cult Podcast, a cult podcast with real takes and no clickbait. I'm Josh Hudgens and the draft is just five days away. Chris Ballard had his pre-draft press conference on Friday afternoon and he gave us some interesting information. I know sometimes with GM interviews or coach press, press conferences, sometimes we have to take their opinion, roll it up in a paper ball, yell Kobe and throw it in the trash can. But this one was interesting. Particularly a few different snippets. One of them, first of all, he said that the Colts have 17 players with first round grades in this draft. But the one really interesting quote I found from him was when, when commenting about rumors or leaks or draft chatter, Ballard says, there's always been an assumption that we have targeted one guy. This is the main assumption right now, that we've targeted one guy to go get. That's not an accurate assumption. That's pretty much what he's saying. Now, my mind immediately goes to Will Levis. I know there's a bunch of mock drafts out right now that say Anthony Richardson or CJ Stroud if he falls, but the truth is those are mock drafts and mock drafts are different from leaks. Ballard even said in an interview after his press conference that, hey, I know information is not getting out of the Colts building right now based on some leaks I'm reading. So Ballard does read the news, by the way. he's, He's reading this stuff. Now, the leaks have been the Colts are interested in Will Levis. They're targeting Will Levis. He's their guy. So I, what I'm gathering from Chris Ballard isn't necessarily that the Colts are not taking Will Levis, but they don't know what's going to happen at number four or what's going to happen beforehand. Maybe Houston passes on a quarterback. Maybe they need to trade up to number three if that happens and take C.J. Stroud. The, I think the only thing he's saying is we're not solely focused on one guy, and they can't be because they're not the first pick in the draft. We, we don't have that luxury as, as Colts fans or as a team to say, hey, yeah, we can focus in on one guy because we're, we're not picking number one. So, so we have to have other options here. Now, another interesting thing he mentioned, what, he was asked about how prospects, uh, when, when they get bad news said about him in the media, what, what his opinion on that is. And in my opinion, that was kind of fueled by the CJ Stroud news recently. Obviously, Brady Quinn went on a podcast and talked about how the Manning Passing Academy was ghosted by C.J. Stroud and and how that could be a character concern. And Chris Ballard says, I don't know what people get out of that. There's usually an agenda behind it. I don't know what people get out of leak of that kind of information. So to me, it seemed like he wasn't really holding much weight into media leaks. It kind of knows that people kind of like it and click sometimes. So just an interesting tidbit there. Now, uh, one other point I guess I have on this video and we'll wrap it up. I'm not here to waste your time. Um, Ballard said this when it comes to GMs in press conferences. He said, hey, everybody's lying right now. And he said, I'm probably the most honest GM uh, that there is. Now, I'm a dancer. If somebody asks me a question, I'm, I'm going to dance around the topic, but but I try to shoot you straight. So we got to take all this stuff with a grain of salt. I know sometimes people like to watch these press conferences and and splice down every minute and give a give a big reaction to every minute of a press conference and try to try to pick apart everything they say. But Listen, the Colts are not, and Chris Ballard has been a GM for a long time. He's not going to give any information that jeopardizes the Indianapolis Colts' chances of winning. It just does not make sense. So, yes, Chris Ballard, I think, is an honest guy. But but to a point, I think, even though we might get frustrated by it, I think he does kind of have to maybe give some false truths for the betterment of our team and for the future of the Colts. So, guys, let me know what you think. I know we're five days away, and I think we're all just ready for a pick to happen at this point. And I, I just want to say, again, we've said this before, but no matter who the Colts take, whether it's Anthony Richardson, Will Levis, C.J. Stroud, I don't think Bryce Young is falling that far. If he does, I want Bryce Young. But I'm going to support this guy no matter what. Personally, C.J. Stroud's my number two guy. But after Bryce Young, but I'm going to support this guy no matter what. And I hope Colts fans can do the same because these guys are all polarizing. They all have strengths and weaknesses. These guys are not an Andrew Luck or Joe Burrow type of prospect. And I think we just, as a community need to come together after this draft and support our player and and hope for the best. And I think that's all we can do guys. Let me know what you think. If you can take a moment to subscribe to our podcast comment, uh, it would mean a lot. Again, thanks for watching the common Colt podcast.